what's up y'all welcome back to my channel i had to take a little break well i had to take a large break from youtube i had to take a large break from pretty much everything and everyone in my life i don't plan on lifting the break when you get older you realize that a lot of the relationships that you have were built on pretty much just because that was the way that things were we never really got a chance to evaluate the basis or the foundation of certain relationships. And so we just accept whatever from people because they're this or because they're that or because they're there. Um, when in reality, if you were to cut out the one-sided relationship or your side of the relationship, then the relationship would, would have nothing. Some people just kind of, they leech and if they could they would suck your blood and so i really feel like you know protection peace solitude honoring myself honoring my boundaries all of those things are like first i need all of those things to be first my education i've received two certifications since i last talked to you all one is a certification and one is a license i've been working on my education um, because my clock ticks but this video is not about like all that other extra stuff let's get right into the video thank you all for being so patient with me do i touch my belly button i touch it to like wash it but i never like just touch it to like hey how you doing i never i never do that i want to know when it goes in does it stay in obviously no it will go in um i remember one time i was like sick i was laying down on the bed for like days and when I finally got up, my belly button was inward for like two hours. That was the scariest moment of my life because I felt like, you know, the one thing that makes me unique, well, it's several things that make me unique, but the one thing that I've grown to accept is gone. It was just craziness. Um, it will come back out. Does it make a sound? And, it, and it's so funny because I had no intention of showing you all like what sound it makes, but yes, it does make a sound. My son, he notices it and he does push it inward like Pillsbury Doughboy. And I think it's just because he's so intrigued. I don't like it. So I just tell him, well, ah, like, and me reacting is enough for him to run away. I prefer for the people that I am in like a relationship with, I prefer for them to not touch me there. Like, I really don't like it. It doesn't feel the best. Like when I'm poked in my belly button, um, like, okay, it's already unnatural, so I just don't like it. If, if this is like a sensitive area, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. Right. So this is my belly button. Poking someone is just already like rude. It's very like, oh, I'm gonna pick on you. It's, it's giving school bully. So if you push my sensitive area, it's just, it's not okay. It's sensitive as hell. It's soft as hell. It's squishy. Um, it's like, it feels like a nipple. It does feel like a nipple. <laughs> Here's my measuring tape. Cause y'all want me to measure this straight so bad. This is how big it is. About one and a half inches. Now, like how much it sticks out, <laughs> I don't know if I can, well, I guess it's, I guess it's, I guess it's the same all around. The first thing that I'm going to compare this to is a quarter. Everybody has a quarter. You can just get out a quarter and hold it up to your perfect flat belly button that God bless you with. And, um... My belly button would be um, just a tad bit bigger than the size of a quarter. Um, when I was born, I, I guess the doctors told my mom to put a half dollar on it and like tape it down and it'll go away. The next thing that I'm gonna compare my belly button size to is a match. Um, so a match. It is smaller than a match. This is an AirPod like 
my belly button is up there it's pretty big it's a carmex tube so yeah i would have to say that it's a carmex tube or a jar whatever you want to call it so i think that if you were to ask like any lover of mine like what is it like i not, i never knew people had fetishism until i got on youtube with it <laughs> Because everybody was treating like I was a freak. So I was like, let me just talk about it or whatever. So I was just talking about it. And then all of a sudden, mm, I've never been with anyone um, that has a fetish. But I'm not going to lie. Like this one dude, he was like trying to kiss on me. And then he was like kissing on my belly button. And I could just, I was just rolling my eyes. Like, what are you doing? This is stupid. My belly button doesn't have any feeling in it. It's, it's not... <laughs> It's, I keep saying this, it's not a titty. It's so, when you all sexualize it, I don't feel sexy. I, I don't feel, I don't, I literally have no feeling in my belly button to where I can't feel what you all, you know, if you want to show it love, just understand that the love cannot be physically felt whenever. It's, it's really like, ugh, get off me. I don't know. I used to say I was like a doll baby, so I guess it would be fun if I had someone to treat me like a doll baby. Oh, someone asked me for a story. Um, this story time was like pretty traumatic for me, and um, it's probably like one of the many reasons why I would never reconnect with this company. We bought our uniforms, and when we purchased our uniforms, the uniforms had like a V. Um, so it was like a V. I don't know, like, in what perfect belly button world do people have a v cut out for the cheerleading uniforms but anyways it's polyester now and i came to my game and she basically made me put on a tank top underneath my um cheerleading uniform mind you i have on a polyester cheerleading uniform with thin cotton underneath and she basically looked at it like and i was like real like yo i don't rock with you i'll probably never ever rock with you again like i don't care what you got to say you didn't have to treat me like that because it's it's clearly something that i can't help and i'm in high school now like if anybody see it then that's just what they see i'm i'm past any <laughs> bygones are bygones let me cheer in my regular uniform and i was just like Ugh. so days i wouldn't wear it like what you gonna do no anyways that's really tra traumatic for me because it's like what the and then I think I already told you all about the one time with the cheerleading coach. She, I guess her friend would support her being the cheerleading coach. And like her boyfriend came and she was like, this is so-and-so. Look at her belly button. Like she literally introduced me as a freak with the belly button. And she didn't say that, but you know, she didn't have to say that. So it was just like, come on now. You, you mad childish for you to be the older one. Like, what if, what if I wasn't secure? I was like, I could smack the shit out of you. But I didn't, of course. I was in the ninth grade and I was super duper shy, so I didn't say anything at all. But now that I'm talking about it, I'm like, <sighs> I do remember noticing that I was different um, because someone, I guess, I don't know, it was like a conversation about washing the belly. I don't know, like, I guess people can, people with innies can go into their belly button and like pick out stuff or like smell it. I don't know what the hell y'all do, but I think that that was like what people were talking about. And um, basically they was like, well, how do you wash your belly button? And I didn't have an answer because I'm thinking that everyone just washes their belly button. That's when I knew that I was different. All of my family put emphasis because it was like, to me it was like so much bigger when I was younger. Or maybe it was just this size on a small body, but it was so huge and um, like all of my family would say things about it, talk about it, laugh at it, make jokes about it. Um, it wasn't until I got older and around more kids that I started hearing like really, really crazy things or whatever, but I don't care about that. Um, I still wear crop tops. I wear two piece bathing suits. I wear, um, I nair my belly. Like I do nair like all in this area and I'll show y'all if y'all want to see, but I nair um and like i live my life because i'm gonna be wearing a cute crop top if that's what i want to wear like guys don't care about it 
I love it though. And I wish I could wear, like, if it was summertime, I would wear a body cam so y'all can see how people look at me. Like, I would literally go to, like, King's Dominion or Six Flags and just wear that body cam and show y'all <laughs> the looks that people give me from young to old. Like, they, they be, like, looking crazy. Like, the kids will be like, psst, 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 look, look, look. I'm like, but I get it, though, because it is big. <laughs> I would not ever change it for anything. I love it a lot. And I love that you all love it. And I love that I'm, I'm really thankful for the people that were patient with your girl. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I tell y'all ask me things, but y'all are not specific. It's like when I say be specific, y'all are being Pacific. Like, please be specific. If you want me to talk about a specific thing, let me know. If you want me to answer a specific question, and you all can't ask me things like, do you touch it? The hell you know I touch it. You see me touching it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, what do you want me to say to that? LOL, period? Like, I don't know what you want me to say to it. So, I need something that's a little bit more, you know. But, I am going to do a, um, like, outfit of the day um as a large belly button person it's cold in dc so i won't be able to do much but i definitely got y'all when it gets warmer i have some things that i've been ordering so um i'm really really excited to share that until next time thank you all for the love please stay grounded and thanks for watching